From November 3rd to 6th, Myanmar Good News Mission invited Pastor Ok Su Park to hold a Bible seminar in Yangon. Approximately 1,000 people attended each hour, and the event was further enriched with performances by Myanmar's Azalea Dance Team, Azalea Choir, Children's Choir, and Korea's Birdsong Choir. Pastor Ok Su Park preached through Romans 3, and in interviews held before and after the event, the VIPS also shared the Gospel textbook with Pastor Park and were convinced of the forgiveness of their sins and agreed to join in spreading the Gospel in future. Education figures expressed their intention to cooperate to introduce mind education into public education. This Myanmar Bible seminar, where Pastor Park was invited, spread love of Jesus even in difficult situations and made the history of the Gospel more beautiful. Beautiful. The 2024 Thailand IYF World Camp was held at the Huamark Indoor Gymnasium in Bangkok on November 6 and 7. About 4,500 teenagers and college students from all over Thailand attended this camp, which was held under the theme of a connected world, and the former Prime Minister of Thailand and the Deputy Minister of Home Affairs attended and delivered congratulatory remarks. Pastor Ok Su Park emphasized the importance of learning about the world of the heart through the Bible at the camp. A CLA the meeting was held simultaneously with the World Camp, and Christian leaders from all over Thailand participated, and on the last day of the camp, a Christmas concert made the hearts of camp attendees and audiences happy. This Thailand World Camp served as a time to teach Thai youth the joy of life with Jesus. The regional finals of 2024 IYF English-speaking contest were held on 2nd. Daegu Gyeongbuk's main book was held at Daegu Youngnam Institute of Technology, and the Gyeongbuk's main book was held at Jeonju Urban Innovation Center. The topics were my dreams, touching moments, people I admire, the role of humans in the I era, and ways to solve the problem of population decline. Regardless of whether they won a prize or not, the participants expressed their feelings that this competition served as an opportunity to overcome the burden of English. On 4th and 5, Paraguay's Good News Ascension Church held a Bible seminar with Pastor Kim Ki Siok, senior pastor of Good News Bizan Dae Hyun Church. There was a performance by Paraguay's Sasori Music School, and Pastor Kim Ki Siok gave a sermon on theme of a fruitful life. During the event, IYF, World Camp Launch Ceremony was held at former National Assembly and current National Cultural Center Cabildo with Senators, Ministry of Education, Directors, and University Presidents, and in the afternoon, a volunteer launch ceremony was held at Wu University Auditorium. The Paraguayan Church is preparing for the World Camp to be held in February next year. Bulgaria's Good News Sophia Church invited missionary Jehun Shin from Mexico to hold a Bible seminar with World City CLF for a week starting October 28. On 28, in Sofia, a Bible seminar was held at the Church of Future and Hope at the invitation of Pastor Tony Elinkov, President of the Bulgarian Assemblies of God Federation, and Bible seminars were held in Peshtera on 29th and Burgas on 30th, and were also broadcast live online. It was broadcast all over Europe. This event served as an opportunity to spread the gospel throughout Bulgaria and strengthen the mission. The Zimbabwe IYF was invited to attend the Zimbabwe National Principals Association Conference. Last July, Minister of Education, who participated in Korea IYF, World Camp invited them to explain IYF, mind education to 5,000 principals, superintendents, and other education officials. On 30, they gave a mind lecture and preached the gospel to city council members, civil servants, and student representatives in Bulawayo. Regular Bible seminars were held at various churches in Korea. From 3rd, a Bible seminar with Pastor Jang Ki Seong was held at Good News Namwon Church, a Bible seminar with Pastor Cho Young Ju was held at Kiondo Church, and from 4th to 6th, a Bible seminar with Pastor Park Jang Su was held at Bukbizan Church. Each church carried out various activities and performances prepared by the believers, created a Bible seminar. In particular, many people were convinced of salvation through personal faith counseling, which brought joy to each church. Lincoln House School in Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo held a two-day children's camp on October 31st and November 1st. Kinshasa Lincoln House School was established in 2019 and operates Bible classes and chapel as its curriculum. 
In this camp, 160 students participated and experienced various academies, Bible quiz competitions, and sports activities. Kinshasa Lincoln House School said it will continue to create times for students to become closer to the gospel through various programs. Good News Jekian Church held a global harmony festival at Jekian Cultural Center on December 2, inviting families, students, foreign workers, and citizens. The festival was divided into experiential activities and performances, highlighted by a congratulatory speech by Jekian City Chairman, a performance by Vietnamese marriage immigrants, and a local folk song by Rio Montana. Jekian Church Senior Pastor Hong Wu Yoon said if you have a bright and healthy mind, you can live a happy life, and hope that through this festival, foreign students and multicultural families would hear the gospel and become one. On first, there was an online international cultural exchange event hosted by first-year students at Lincoln High School. 300 teenagers from Indonesia, Thailand, and Philippines participated, providing an opportunity to learn Korean culture and communicate with Korean students. In particular, all planning and execution was handled by students, and they said it was an opportunity for them to overcome difficulties, take the words to heart, cooperate with each other, and grow. The event became even more meaningful as it ended with students preaching the gospel to students from three countries in English, after a message from the chaplain, Pastor Osean Kwan. On November 3rd, Good News Dechen Church held a Happy Dechen Church Fall Concert event. Dechen Church announced that it is holding a monthly concert after the Fall Bible Seminar to continue the connection with attendees. Baritone Oyo Huan, Soprano, Lee Chai Yoon, Lim Hanna, and the band's K-Stars and Harmonics appeared and performed, and Dechen Church Senior Pastor Jian Oshin delivered the message that true happiness can be found when you walk with God. Participants expressed their feelings that the church had become a place they wanted to come to every week and that their hearts had grown closer. Good News East Alsen Church Sunday School held a family mind recreation at the main auditorium of Alsen Donggu office on 2nd. About 300 children and parents attended this event with the goal of restoring communication between families that has diminished due to smartphone use. Mind board games, colorful performances, and mission performance energized the event, and there was a mind lecture that emphasized the value of putting down orium and uniting the mind to create happiness. This event received a great response from attendees as it once again reminded us of the importance of communication and exchange between families.